happy vlog 58 guys chanel says how you doing so you guys can see my sister is back you guys haven't seen my sister much everyone's been saying that they miss you oh i miss being on vlog as well but a little self promo i've started my own vlog you've actually started youtube so long ago i know but i haven't posted in 10 years girl exactly if you would have kept on that bandwagon you could be the next zoella i don't know old ella <laughs> Maybe. So if you guys want to go show your support, please head on over to my sister's channel. What is it? It is Hong XO on all my platforms. Just doing vlogs at the moment. I just want something simple and then, you know, I might branch out a little bit and do a bit of makeup, do a bit of lifestyle. The only lifestyle thing that you'll see here is me eating chips, basically. <laughs> so today is currently Saturday. You guys can actually see we're actually glammed up today. I feel like it's been so long since I put a makeup and actually gone outside. So I literally am here looking all cute because it's been so long since I felt nice. So I've curled my hair today guys. You guys know that my sister is getting into vlogging and we was literally just chatting saying that it's so hard to get any vlog footage and we haven't felt glam in so long. So we thought, why don't we get dressed up today? It's a Saturday. Why don't we get all glammed up? We go and take some cute photos. The dog is here. Get some vlog content because it is so hard to get any vlog content when you're just sat at home, right? I tried to get glam today, guys. I wore green. This is how bold I'm feeling today. I feel like my sister never ever wears colour so this is like a big jump for her we're just having a little cute girly day the dogs are here I need to also show you guys my sister bought a stroller for her dogs like she is officially the crazy doggy mum I never thought I would be that person but I officially am first of my vlogs for this week the only footage I have is just the dogs how sad is that so today we're gonna make it like a content day have a little sister girly day out mm. Mm. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I just did my nails yesterday and look <laughs> She's not a bad bitch. This is when you try to be a bad bitch, but life is telling you you're not. <laughs> I am dying. Look at my crazy sister. You have officially become the crazy dog mummy. You look cute, don't you think? It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Apparently, the dogs love this pram. If you guys don't know, Coco is like an old guy now. He has some walking problems. And this guy here, he's a little chubby one. He doesn't like walking. So my sister bought a pram so that she doesn't have to like carry the dogs. All free. He squeezed in here, he loves this. Normally when he goes for walks, he's so busy concentrating, walking and following. On here, he actually sits and admire the view. Oh. And you can just see like how much he enjoys it. This is my first time ever pushing a pram in my life. <laughs> he actually sits you, girl. Also, how cute is this Fashion Nova outfit now? Hi, look at this Angus. Yeah. I should go the whole coming soon. Making my way downtown, parking pass, and I'm homebound. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, this is so cute. When my sister first told me about this, I was like, what a stupid thing. But now that I'm pushing it, I'm like, this is such a good idea. <laughs> Tell us honestly in the comments, does this look crazy? This is me being a mother. Let me swirl it around. Do a little model. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is like a full-on doggy pram. So what's the difference with this one compared to like a normal pram? So this has got like a box shape so the dog can sit in there comfortably. But they've even got like a little rain jacket so you can zip them in so they're fully enclosed so you won't be concerned about them jumping out. Any dogs with anxiety. And then also when you're walking, there's like a little wind mesh screen here so you can actually see what they're up to. You can actually open this fully. Wow. And then also there's like a little storage location here which is very convenient so I've got all my little gadgets for the dogs. And also they have like straps so you can actually like seat belt them in and like strap their harness in and stuff. Best 40 pound you ever spent. <laughs> it's the next day now and I just woke up and it it's snowing outside. It snowed overnight and I live on top of a hill as well. So I'm a little bit nervous because me and Grant have to go out because I got refunds from Amazon that I need to do. I haven't been out in the snow since my last press trip, which was exactly a year ago today as I'm filming this. There was a point in my life where I was going on press trips twice a month, fly away, come back for a week and then fly again. And my life couldn't be further from that right now. It's snowing. Woo. Look at our car. Hello. We had to pour some warm water in a bucket. This is the ratchet Asian way to do it. Let me know if you've also done this before. Splash. It is so cold. I can't believe that somewhere in the world you could probably be in a bikini right now on the beach. And it said, this is my view. 
take me back to Dubai. The mirrors are frozen, they're not coming out. Normally it's automatic and it just pops out. But it's so cold, the car door is frozen over. We're finally in the car now. Oh, that was a struggle and a half. So I guess this is the new normal now. Me and Grang are taking another COVID test because this week we really want to go view some houses. There's two houses that we kind of like the look of and it's a bit further away than we originally wanted. The houses look nice, so we just want to take a COVID test just in case. Right, so we have our little swab here. Grang's here choking away as normal. You can never deep throat. Touch the ding ling 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 in the back of your throat. This little cotton swab is lucky. Up the nose, this is the most uncomfortable bit ever. Uh, this is the trick to make you sneeze because it's literally like tickling, tickling, tickling. Okay, and then you put it in this little test tube thing and then you snap it off and then off it goes away to the lab. You shove it in this little baggie, take off the sticky, then you close it. So that's one thing to tick off our little checklist. Guys, I'm literally like crying. I don't know why I have a certain time during the month and I just feel so emotional. I'm just going through the comments of the vlog and I just want to say thank you for everyone that's just like so kind. Okay, let's have a little girl chat. Let's cry it all out together and then tomorrow we need to slap ourselves, get back on the horse and ride that train girl because sometimes you just need to let it out, you just need to talk to someone. I don't know why I feel it's so emotional, I just feel so grateful. Half of me feels like I don't even deserve all the love you guys show me and really it's like happy tears, I'm so happy. I'm just feeling so grateful to have a little community online that understands me, that doesn't judge me. Sometimes being on social media you have so many expectations Yourself putting expectations on you, your followers putting expectations on you, haters putting expectations on you, and sometimes it's like a lot to live up to. And you know, when I started this, I never ever thought that I would be someone's role model. You know, it's so weird when I get these comments that say it's like the sweetest and kindest thing. Half of me is like, I hope I live up to people's expectations. The other half of me is like, oh my god, I can't believe people have expectations from me. That like half of me is like, obviously, so grateful for what I have, and then the other half of me is like oh my god you're literally gonna drop down to like 1.8 million and then on one platform i'm not growing and then the other platform i'm losing followers the other platform i'm literally staying still and obviously i'm not crying because of numbers or anything like that it's more just like i feel angry with myself for putting my happiness based on my career when my job or my career isn't going well then i feel like i failed in life I need to shake it off, girl. Mm. But I need to dance. <laughs> I need to dance. I need to sing. Just need to lay it out, you know. I'm so sorry if I'm making you cry because I always cry whenever I see other people cry. So if you are crying when you see other people cry, then I'm so sorry for making you cry. I always tell myself that you only fail if you stop trying. As long as I keep trying and I keep trying to improve, keep pushing myself and don't back down when things are hard. That's all I could do, you know. I just had to realise it's okay to have down days and it's okay to feel small sometimes, you know. You don't have to have the whole weight on your shoulders all the time and it's okay to feel stuck sometimes and to not know what you want to do in life. Everyone has their own struggles, you know, no matter if you don't have no water to drink to you just lost your job or you're feeling anxiety and pressure from society. I don't know. There's so many different problems and you just never know what anyone's going through. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I see some of you guys saying that you want longer videos and I'm like, oh my God, do you want longer videos? Maybe I should stick to shorter videos on Wednesday and then longer vlogs. Tomorrow is a new day. I will come back bright-eyed and cheery my usual twee self sometimes you need to just lay it out you know cry vent and then pick yourself up and move on and that is how you grow right Gran walked into my room and said like, why are you crying and i'm like i don't know <laughs> I don't know why, you read all the comments, everyone's just so kind. Like, what do we do to deserve, like, such nice people? Yeah, you guys are so nice in the comments. I don't know why, it makes me feel guilty. <laughs> I'm literally the most basic weirdo bitch ever, and I feel like so many people look up to me, and I'm just like, oh my god. You look up to me, and I look like this all the time. It's okay. I love to little bun. You don't have no choice. We're going to have a good week this week, right? Yes. 
a good week. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hello! Your girl is a little curly suit today. Hey, how you doing? I am challenging myself this week that I'm gonna do three different makeup looks. I'm gonna try to change my hair up. I feel like I've gone in a little bit of a rut where I literally just put on makeup just for a video once a week and then the rest of the time I'm looking like a slob and then I feel like a slob, I eat like a slob. It's just like a constant cycle. I just literally went on a whim and I said I'm gonna start a new series on my Instagram stories called Twee Talks. Maybe I can also do this in a YouTube video as well. I think I'm just so scared to commit myself to a series because I doubt myself and I feel like maybe what if that video didn't do well then I committed to it and I'm just so scared that things will flop. It's like a constant cycle of like not believing myself and scared if things are not successful. How am I gonna know if it's successful if I don't try? Right guys, right? I don't know why recently I've always been looking at my phone on specific numbers. Like I keep catching my phone when it's 11, 11 and then I just saw my phone when it was 22, 22. Are these like angel numbers? Is this someone trying to tell me something? Let's go see what Gang is doing. I feel like the vlog always just sees you here in this little gaming chair. This is the beard update. Also, can anyone volunteer to come and cut Grand's hair for his birthday, please? Because he's looking like a right old hedgehog. Anyways, guys, I feel like I had a productive day today. I feel really proud of myself that I'm doing this challenge and I feel like it's so important whenever you're feeling like you're in a rut and things might not be going your way, you have the power to change your mindset and you have the power to do anything that you want to do, you know? If you want to grow on Instagram, you can do it if you want to lose weight you can do it today i dropped down to 1.8 on instagram even just saying that out loud i was like oh my god it's so sad this is literally what i was like so upset with yesterday because i knew it was coming today i woke up and it happened i did have a cry about it i can't do anything else except for keep trying when i see stuff like that it makes me reflect on me and what i'm doing wrong and oh my god people hate me and it kind of reiterates that oh yeah you are not good enough i'm so a people pleaser when i see everything dropping it's literally like tapping that insecurity of mine i don't know what's happening with me recently but i've just been feeling so emotional and yeah i'm just so grateful for anyone that is listening to this right now because yeah sometimes you just need an ear or a shoulder to cry on you know from the tap make from it drop Real that's a wet that's a wet <laughs> You see that remix me and Grant just done? Real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. <laughs> you guys know what time it is? It's Tweet and Grant's car ride time. We have had so many car rides. I'm like, let me just turn up the music a little bit more. We still haven't been flagged. Oh my God, I'm gonna jinx it now, aren't I? It's Thursday today, me and Grant's out of the house and it's so nice and sunny. These are my favorite days to go on drives. And I feel like because it's lockdown right now, we hardly ever leave the house. So when we do eventually go food shopping, we're like, what? Nature, fresh air. Today is Lunar New Year's Eve. So I'll take you guys along for shopping day. First stop, Asda. Do you guys do this service in your supermarkets? You have all of your bags all ready and you just scan everything as you go. I found so many snacks. I haven't shopped at Asda in ages. And I feel like Asda does the best junk food, honestly. Got some Quavers. We got some Sensation. This is my favorite, Chris, hands down. These are good if you like a bit of like sweet chili you know and then this is the best popcorn ever and they only do it as star oh <laughs> this is what me and Craig's days out are like we're the queue for my girls <laughs> hello mate <laughs> Can I get a chicken sandwich meal, please? Yeah. Large, please oh should I get a chicken sandwich meal? Okay. oh my yeah. god I'm torn chicken, chicken sandwich. nuggets I even have enough money for chicken nugget. But well, I'll get a chicken sandwich meal too. Right. Can we add cucumbers to both of them, please? If you like cucumbers, ask for extra cucumber um, in your chicken sandwich. Nuggets. It's amazing. Let's get some select. Can we have four sort of chicken selects as well, please? Three pieces of five pieces? Five. five. <laughs> Fuck your chicken strips. <laughs> about the UK you don't have to pay for extra sauce the sweet and sours the curry sauces the barbecues you don't have to pay extra for them this is living my best life gasolina yeah 
<laughs> She's laughing at McDonald's at me. If you guys order McDonald's from Uber Eats, please let me know how you ask for sauce because they never give me any sauce. And you know when you go to McDonald's, you need a sweet and sour sauce. Do you know what I'm saying? Stocking up today, mate. I'm in such a good mood today, guys. Can you not tell? It's so sunny. It's like the perfect weather to go outside when it's like winter autumn because the sky is so blue, the air is so crisp. Can I get a five sweet and sour and two curries, please? Five sweet and sour and two curries? He's really milking the system McDonald's has going on, isn't it? Those people like you ruin it for the rest of us and then soon they're gonna start charging. This is me and Grant's song when we're in the car. Ooh. This song makes me so happy. Wait. Look at all that Let's go. <laughs> no masterpiece. Ten bad bitches in the other me. Oh. Looking for a dump, like an athlete. Oh. Happy Lunar New Year for everyone that's celebrating this Friday. I'm literally just in the middle of getting ready. I'm so annoyed because we were meant to have two house views today, but both of them cancelled. I'm literally getting ready for no reason, but it's okay. We're heading over to my sister's house. So I literally just got a knock at the door and look at this exciting delivery we just got from Clinique. They corried it over with Blondie's Kitchen! If you guys never heard of Blondie's Kitchen before, they do the most amazing cookies ever. Oh my god, this huge cookie. I'm definitely gonna be eating this today. I'm in the middle of getting ready now, so I'll chat to you guys when I'm done. Okay, we're ready now. Starting the year off with some good vibes. Looking like a bad bitch. Mm, 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 mm. Shake that ass. <laughs> we're on our way! On our way! So we're on our way to my sister's house now. So we're gonna have New Year's with the dogs. I can't see the rest of my family because of COVID, which sucks. But me and my sister are just gonna do our own little thing. He's finally got the Rolex that he's always wanted on his Apple Watch. <laughs> we are reunited, Chanel and me. Chanel, secretly you wanna be my dog, not Hung's dog. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! If you guys don't know, my sister is now vlogging. You guys have always requested her to do YouTube. As she's finally pulled around to it. What I've realised is how crap and boring and shitty my life is since I've stopped vlogging. I'm like, what is so entertaining about my fucking life? <laughs> well, this is what the vlogs are here to do, to push you above your comfort zone. And this year is the year of the ox. That means that you've got a lot to live up to. Do you see the this ox is your year. coming through? This might be your year to find a husband. You might even find a new house. You might get a new job. You can do anything you want to. Let's start with the smaller goal first the husband is a bit of big step the goal is to lose these roles <laughs> so if you guys haven't met Romeo yet and you guys missed that vlog go and watch it because my sister adopted a third Pomeranian yeah a third Pomeranian so we're gonna do a test apparently my sister said he can go up the stairs now by himself so he's been with us for about maybe three, three weeks. weeks now okay come on really shy. Yeah, yeah, but he's he... become really loving now. Wherever you place him, he'll literally sleep with me all night now. Oh, which is really? adorable. That's nice. So his personality is coming out a bit. The thing is, I haven't taught him how to climb down the stairs yet, so that's the next mission that we need to do. Normally, I just leave him downstairs, and today, I was like going upstairs, I'm doing a bit of like cleaning upstairs, and next thing I turn around, he's upstairs, I'm like, oh, how did that happen? Oh my God. And he did it all by himself from he downstairs cried. all the way upstairs. And then the other day, we also realised that he has no top teeth left. It's called mom. <laughs> Vietnamese. <laughs> the woman said that he was three or four and I'm like, I don't think he's three or four. <laughs> we are in the midst of cooking for Chinese New Year. So we're making spring rolls. This is our crusty mixture. It's got prawn, crab, minced pork, coriander, carrot. It's got all of the good good in here, okay? <coughs> so I made my first spring roll. Hello, who is she? This is the golden spring roll. We totally forgot to show you the food. We ate it so quickly. As soon as it came out, yeah. it was all being chopped up and gobbled down. Totally forgot to vlog. We had such a good Chinese New Year. It was a little quiet one. It was really enjoyable. I haven't seen that. Oh, well, I feel like I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. And I felt quite a bit lonely, if I'm honest. In the last week or so, I've been feeling a bit... Uh, I've been calling Twee like, ah, oh, Twee! How am I feeling this way? And she's been a motivational speaker and in egging me on to continue my vlog. Keep doing it. I feel like at the start, that's when you kind of feel like, oh, is it even worth it? Because you don't really see much views and stuff like that. Eventually, if you keep at it, it could lead to somewhere. If it was easy, then everyone would do it, right? Yeah, that is true. Thank you for coming around. Yeah, 
Okay, so we're gonna end this week's vlog here. We want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Happy Lunar New Year. This is a start of a, a fresh, fresh new year. I'm gonna continue trying this vlogging and continue a new healthier lifestyle. That's what I keep saying myself. Yes, let year. us know what your New Year's goals is. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Make sure you also check out my sister's vlog as well. She uploads every Sunday. Look at your orangutan tits, boy. <laughs> bra, 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 girl. My burnt ass forehead from that curling iron. That's what I get for trying to be fabulous. Look at me. Yesterday, I was looking all fancy and cute. And then today, this is what you get. Hello, what are you doing here? He's trying to avoid working. It's time to take a break. No, it's not time to take a break. He has to go back to work. You haven't even started work to even take the break. It's Tuesday today. <laughs> And I haven't edited the video for Wednesday. Well, why are you still here then? Go get to editing. Bye. He really doesn't want to work today. What are you still doing here? Hi, I'm still here. <laughs> I know I'm going to my corner. Go away. Go. I don't want to go to, go my to your dungeon. Go. Mm -hmm. Do you want to film a YouTube video with me? No. I knew that would get him to go away. Hold my hand. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Happy Chinese New Year. Oh, give me a song, babe. You try to call me a hoe. Make that bullet get weak. <laughs>